People are approaching us and saying, you know, you guys have come so far, look at all the things that you've done, how did you get this place? And it was because of uh, the people, the 5% that have the heart and the passion. Now, when somebody comes with substance use disorder, I actually have medical treatment options to provide them, which is huge. When they come in here, they get clean, they detox, um, they start speaking to counselors. Um, they start seeing maybe there's a life or a vision for them after addiction. There's just been an explosion of recovery groups in the county. We've gone from having four prior to the epidemic to now over 15. So, and they meet every single day of the week except for Sunday. And we're eventually gonna have a 12-step faith-based one start on Sundays. I've been in recovery for 1,155 days, which is a little over three years and almost two months. I was able to start working here locally where I used to get high, which is a big shock for people like me to come back to where you used to use and score your drug of choice at, and then to come back and to bring experience, strength, and hope to other people who are trying to get out of active addiction. One of the main points of ROSC is um, that addiction is a disease. and uh, if we could just get everyone on board with that instead of that addiction is a sin and that these people are sick people and not bad people, that's huge. I am currently a peer recovery specialist with an inpatient treatment facility, uh, the first one that I know ever in Scott County. I grew up here and I used here, so um, for me to give back to this community that I once robbed, um, means a lot to me. You actually get to see them come out of this horrible negative place and they just kind of blossom. We started the very first Narcotics Anonymous meeting here in town and since then we've had two more start up. If you're here and you're in this town and you can't quite get out then like you need to find the people that are in recovery instead of your old people places and things. The recovery community was like, what about painting a mural somewhere to kind of be a symbol to the community that, you know, hey, we, we used to only be known for the negative things, the negative ways we impacted a community. How about now that we're in recovery, we'd be known for a positive way that we can impact the community. It's always good to have activities with other people in recovery, good, sober, clean activities. It's just to show, you know, that a lot of beautiful things can come out whenever you're in recovery. Uh, ROSC allows our community to have a conversation. It, it centers everyone around the idea of recovery. Um, you know, they're, they're starting to hear from other people that, that recovery is cool. It feels good to help people when they need it, or just for my face to be out there and they know that there's hope.